Hello guys, this is Dr. Bass and this is the second part of the uh, Ceron motor upgrade. So uh, in my first video I uh, disassembled the motor, showing you some parts and now it's time for um, protection for the motor. As you can see there is a red varnish here on the motor. I used the uh, Spray-On EL601 that I cooked below 60, uh, 80 degrees Celsius and then cure for 20 more, uh, 24 hours and then it's ready. The reason for varnish addition is very important, okay? Water will get into your motor. It's not a question, it's just to know when it happened. Even water can be sucked through the strands of your wires, go into the wires and exit and go onto the core of the stator or even on the water. And uh, it has been proven, it has been tested a lot, and industrial motor uh, company know that. The reason is because when the motor heat, the pressure variation between the inside and the outside uh, will create a suction effect in, uh, in the motor. So uh, when the pressure variation between inside and outside the motor is different, there's a difference of pressure and when it's lower pressure inside the water will find its way on every single crack every single possibility even if you seal completely the motor with the best silicone grease gaskets and everything it will find its way and as a proof i will show you um the uh in fact the stock motor if i can find it uh, um there was a oh yeah it's right here yeah, you see, the stock motor had silicone on this part of the wire and here. And that's for one reason, to avoid water to go from this little hole, go to the wire, go inside the motor. Okay, why water is dam uh, can damage your motor, very important. Two things. First, uh, that's the least important. It's because the dust that uh, of the rust that go inside your motor can uh, damage the winding because the winding vibrate a little bit and yes it vibrate on high phase current and when it happens it create friction and that friction can uh, create hot spot because of the rust that will conduct between the strands that are not at the same voltage and that's a problem it's that's a known problem okay uh, so um, that's one of the reason and here this is one of the video on my YouTube channel where I repaired a mo hub motor for a friend and what you can see here is all the rust on the magnet that are on the rotor parts and those magnets were spinning inside the motor because they were unstick okay so my friend was twisting the throttle he hear a motor spinning but the wheel was not spinning in fact the the magnets were spinning inside but not the rotor part <laughs> so um yeah so the magnet were unglued the second reason why it's important to have varnish on the motor when there's a uh, uh, moisture presence and temperature variation it's because the rotor is made of lamination. Those lamination are small sheet of iron and when there's rust on these, they will inflate just a little bit. And the accumulation of all these uh, lamination together create a, a small variation when the rust goes inside and the magnets that are glued will unstick because of this change in the width. And that's very important. There's three ways to hold the magnet, the screw and the trapezoidal shape that you have here and the glue. The glue is the most important and you don't want to have it to break because you will break the magnet. It will just break this way or uh, this way like we've seen already. So that's uh, very important, okay? So that varnish normally at room temperature is not completely cooked, but it's, it's working. But when you cook it at 80 degrees Celsius or less, it's correct. Why 80 degrees Celsius? It's because above that temperature, you might uh, damage the magnet. I'm not sure, but uh, uh, 80 degrees Celsius is normally the neodymium magnet, the, the lower uh, temperature neodymium magnet you can get. And um, apparently for this motor, there's magnet up to 180 degrees Celsius that I found, but I'm not sure which kind. I know it's neodymium N38, 
good magnets but not sure for that another point which is important is the side cover you see there's black paint that's for a reason infrared um, uh, created by the the winding the winding create heat it create heat by heating the air around it and it create heat by radiant heat that radiant heat if goes to this inside and if it's not black painted it will be a reflector and that heat will be reflected back to the winding and then it had a few percentage of heat to that motor so it's good to have an absorbent here to have that heat to heat the cover and to have the cover to communicate the heat to the outside not reflecting back i will show you an example here you will find pretty interesting guys that is a aluminum piece that i've covered with black tape to simulate the black paint and you see the fresh bare aluminum and there's a thermometer here okay infrared thermometer you see my hand is at 34 degrees celsius here all right what happened if i point this thermometer to this surface with my hand you see 33 degrees celsius no change if i go to the reflective part you see 29 27 so it's catching the temperature of my hand uh, just by the reflection if I go back to the absorb, you see, I'll show you 24, 28, 24, 28. So the black paint really work to absorb the radiant heat. So that's the reason I made that onto this motor. Another important thing, interesting, is the magnetic field. Oh, hey, by the way, before I uh, forget. I will add a drain hole. Drain hole is to evacuate the water because water will get inside because of the temperature change, condensation, winter, etc. And the goal is to evacuate heat. So I will make a small hole on the lowest part of the motor to make sure that on the surround when the motor is located properly, the, 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 the water will go in this direction. So that's important, the location where you drill the hole. Just a small hole near the uh, core here to not drill inside the core, but just on this small thickness here will be perfect. I will do it on both sides. All right, so now time for magnetic measurement. All right, so this is a small hole sensor. The goal is to measure the magnetic field normally there's like 4000 gauss yeah 4200 on this location here that's about the maximum i've measured that's my baseline because that motor never get uh never got overpowered so i will have a baseline and compare when i will use the back 8000 to see if i demagnetize the magnet past the curie point which is the maximum temperature without having um uh, unreversible effect so thanks you guys for watching i, I hope uh, you appreciated the video and uh, see uh, us together for the next video okay bye bye